Okay. Let me ask you, why are you wanting to come in and dig up the yard? Well, I, it's not that I want to. AT&T as a, you know, as a corporation, they they're want they they're, they're going to come and do it. It's you know, it's just so they have access to the fiber optic lines below your house. I don't want anything to do with AT&T. Okay, well, no, you don't have to use AT&T. You can go ahead and keep using your slow internet. It's just uh, they're going to have an access hatch in your front yard. Are they expecting us to say it's okay to come in and dig up part of our front yard? Yes, of course. We've no. never received a letter. We've never received anything. Yeah, but that's where the communication line. There's a communication tunnel underneath your house. It goes under the whole city. <coughs> and uh, that that's just, you know, they don't have a an access point nearby. And they're tired of having to walk all the way over down the tunnel to under your house. So they're just going to... Is that my problem? We pay a lot of money to have our landscaping done. Okay, well now you have you get to pay less because there's going to be less to do. Because there's going to be an oversized manhole cover right in the center of your front lawn. No, there is not. Oh, yes, there is. We're going to paint it green, so it's going to look nice. Oh, yeah, that really is going to look nice. I agree. Thank what, you. What time? Are, no, it's going to look like. What time are they going to be here? Like what? I'm sorry, you cut out there. What time are they going to be here? Uh, about nine in the morning. There's going to be AT and T trucks and city worker trucks. Why do you think I want a manhole in the middle of my front yard? Uh, well, it's it's not for you, so you don't even have to worry about it. You can just pretend it's not there. It's a yard. What do you not understand? I own this property. I know that, but, you know, sometimes you got to just, uh, you know, let us use our easements and, and, and you know, have progress with communication lines and stop trying to hold back uh, the, the future. Well, let me tell you, I retired from AT&T and I cannot stand this company. So basically, you're yeah. part of the problem. Well, I probably am part of the problem. You're absolutely right. And all the jobs going over to, uh, overseas... Absolutely. Well, the, these are like American workers coming to your your yard. Yeah. And you shouldn't Actually, hate on the foreigners. You know, the, fo- the foreigners need jobs too, probably more than us. <clears throat> okay. Where's the letter that I was supposed to receive? I don't know. You probably just threw it away with the junk mail. No, I did not. You probably did. I you definitely pr- go through every bit of my mail. Yeah, you, you don't open every piece of junk mail, though. Yes, I do open every piece of mail. Okay, I'll be honest with you. AT&T designed the official letter that you were supposed to receive to look like junk mail, so you would throw it away because they didn't want you to no, try I and stop No, I don't throw them. it away. I open everything. So you tell me where the letter is. I don't you know. Give me a letter sent out. Huh? Maybe you should clean your damn house and you'd find it. Can I have your name? This is Steve Dave. And I don't know if your husband told you, but we're also going to be putting a street light. What is, what is your name again? We're, uh, this is Steve Dave. We're going to be putting a street light right above the manhole cover for extra security. So you're, okay, you're, And what is your ID, your employee ID? 618314. So your your front lawn is going to be extra secure now. I have lights in my yard. I do not need yours. Well, no, so these where are. Do I call to file a, these are <clears> where be, do I call to file a complaint against you? These are going to be overly bright lights, like really bright, just because there's a lot. That's of... what I want in my bedroom. No, I'll not in your bedroom. Not in in the yard. <laughs> and the light is going to shine in my bedroom. Well, close your damn curtains. They are closed. See, the... Where can I call to file a complaint against you? Because you're. Very inconsiderate. And the way you're talking to me is totally non-professional. You have been talking to me the exact same way. So I'm just giving No, it. I told you I did not want it in my yard and I never received a letter. And you said, well, you don't open all your junk in the letter, do you? And I said, yes. Well, you better clean up that's your true. house. Well, you, you think that's the way you should speak to me? Well, what number can I file a complaint against you? Because I've about had it the way you've spoken to me. Maybe instead of complaining, you should clean up your damn house. I want a number that I can call. It's on your caller ID. Wonder. It's it's the, this is the main the main number here at the with the city. Just call it <clears throat> and tell them Steve Dave. My name is Steve Dave. Oh, absolutely. They don't a, they don't like well, me there anyway. I cannot believe that you would tell me to clean up my house. Well, You've never even been in my home. Yeah, but it sounds like it's messy. You sound like messy people. No, it's not messy. Well, you can't even find a piece of mail like that was sent to you over a week ago. It was not 
Yes, and I would have it. Then where is it? Especially if it came from AT&T since I'm a retiree, I definitely know I would have opened it. Oh, well, they didn't put their logo on it. They, they didn't want to be mm-hmm. associated with this. Well, then who is doing this if it's not AT&T? Oh, no, it is AT&T. They're just being extra careful because there's a lot of conspiracy nuts out there trying to set all the fiber lines on fire because they think they cause COVID-19. You're probably one well, of them. Well, I am not one of them. I'm very educated. I have a college degree. Then why are you trying to set fiber lines on fire? Are you kidding me? Didn't you just say you were one of them? No, I did not. I said I am not one of them. Oh, okay. I have a college degree. Well, those, those... I know better than to do something like that. Okay, well, you know, a lot of those, those silly conspiracy guys, they have college degrees too. But they still do dumb things like set cell towers on fire. And they have messy houses too. Oh, wow. I hope this is recorded. I really do. Oh, yeah. Everything is recorded for quality control. Yeah, I understand that. That's what they used to say. Yeah. Okay. Well, wait, are you saying... I will be calling this number back. Are you saying... And I will tell them exactly how you spoke to me because I think it is horrible the disrespect you have shown me. So when you... All I said is I did not want it in my yard and I did not receive a letter. Yeah, but... You told me to clean up my house. You told me I don't open my mail. You told me that you're going to do it. That's not the way you speak to a customer. Ma'am, I don't... That's the way you've been trained? I don't work in customer service like you did. Are you saying when you worked in customer service, they said they were recording calls, but they didn't really? No, they record calls. Okay, because you said it like... They basically, yeah, yeah, they absolutely, for quality control, they basically record calls. So this should all be recorded. Yes, it's all recorded. But you think it's acceptable for you to say to me, I need to clean up my house? I said your damn house, yeah. Because you, you couldn't find the mail. I would have seen the mail if I had received the mail. Okay, I bet your husband threw it away. No, I'm sure he didn't. The mail comes in here, and I look at all the mail. Well, except the stuff that he throws away before you see it. It's probably hiding something. Wow, you are something else. Well, this call will be ending, and I will be calling this number back, and um, I need to know who you guys are as Okay, yeah, just tell them, you know, my name is Bill. Bill. No, it was Steve Day last time. I was trying to throw you off because I don't want to get in trouble because it sounds like you're just trying to cause, you're just trying to create problems for no reason. No, I am not trying to create, you talk to me totally disrespectful. I just, so, I just suggested that you clean the house so you could find your letter, that's all. No. Well, maybe you better clean up your house. You don't even open all your mail. You think this is the way to speak to someone? I think I feel like we're getting off track. The the whole thing, like you're going to have less yard work, big manhole cover. It's going to be painted green. Did I tell you that part? Just what I want is a big manhole cover in the middle of my yard. They're going to paint it green. I will go ahead and call this number that you just called me from. I'm sure it's probably not a number that's going to go into a supervisor since you have refused to give me your supervisor's name. No, you didn't ask for my supervisor's name. I most certainly did. It's Carol. And Carol's last name or her code? Gersberms. I don't know her code. She won't let me have it. After can you since, can you spell her last name? Uh, G E R S E B E R M S. Okay, I will be calling her. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, you know she's on lunch right now. Okay. I guess I'm getting a call back. Oh, look at that! I'm getting a call back right now. I wonder who that could be. Oh shit! I'm getting two calls back. Let's let's pick them up at the same time. Please hold. Okay, your call's transferred. Hello? Yes, who is this? It's Jerry with the city of... I'm calling to see why somebody from this number is calling people to tell them they're going to dig up the front yard and install a manhole cover. Wondering if you can help me with that. Well, I just received a phone call like that. <laughs> um... <laughs> Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke on my end, but somebody from is either spoofing your number or uh, uh, somebody has gotten a hold of your phone and they're representing themselves as the city of... So I work for public... No, they're actually the representing city. themselves as AT&T, which I am a retiree of AT&T. Oh, he okay. said to me that we sent a letter out to you. I said, I never received a letter. He said, well, maybe you just didn't look at it because it might look like junk mail. Then I said, I can tell you I did not receive a letter. 
he proceeded to tell me that I need to clean my house up. And if I had a clean house, maybe I'd find the letter. Wow. Somebody's working hard because they've called three other people just with different uh, little harassment type things. But he said the same them... day I asked for his employee ID, and he gave me an ID, but it's not one that I'm familiar with. Uh, yeah. It's our like initials and then a four-digit code. And a Carol Gershbaum is who he gave me as a supervisor. But I tell you, I've never been so terribly disrespected. Yeah. So. I w- is so you work for AT and T? Is there is there some I'm a way that somebody? Retiree. Yeah. Now how? And and it's just my ignorance here. But if if they're able to use this phone number, are they somehow somebody maybe internal to AT and T, kind of spoofing that number and calling people around the city of? No, actually, I have no services with AT and T. And the reason being is I'm not happy with the company. They have basically yeah. sent most of our jo- jobs overseas. And, you know, after 30 years, I, I retired and it was fine. I had plenty of yeah. years to retire with a great pension. Yeah. But um, I don't know how you're going to get this stopped because they're giving your, he said, well, you can just call this number back. Well, you'll yeah. love the manhole in the co- you know, cover in the middle of your yard. I said, you're not getting yeah. on my property. Yeah. So let let me give you my number just so you have it and if okay. we need to communicate more we can. It sounds like somebody knows you and they're using your number somehow. Okay. My name is Jerry. Last name is and my direct phone number is and I work for Public Works, so that's why a lot of the calls are coming to me since they're claiming it's sanitary sewer and uh manhole cover type stuff. So well. any calls I don't know who they, you know, they may just call City Hall and they're getting forwarded to me. Well, I can tell you, Jerry, what is happening is your number is coming up on my on my husband's cell phone. So when I filed a complaint and said I want to speak to your supervisor, he said, we well, call us back at this number. Is it coming up with my direct number or what's it? what are they giving you? No, it came up on my phone as the number I just dialed back. What number is that? Just let me look. It's like a five. Six mm-hmm. two four. And that's what it looks like when I called you. Uh, you didn't call me. I called you. No, I just called you. <laughs> oh, you two are confused. I, just... I I work at the prank call call center. I connected you together. I've just been sitting here listening. That's all. I was at it. Yeah. So t- tell me who you work for. I-, I work at the prank call call center. I'm in India. They they um, sent all the jobs over to us. Okay. Um, as you'll recall, um, you know that lady you're talking to. She's very racist and doesn't like when foreigners have jobs. Oh, it has nothing to do with you being a yes, foreigner. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Very racist. Well, man. I- very racist. How did you connect us? Because you both I'm just you both called me at the same time, so I just connected the calls together. It, it's standard right. it's standard procedure here at the prank call okay. call center. So help me with how are they? How is this? I, I'm just being silly. To- uh, you know, it's it's my job. They pay me to be silly uh, for half the price of Americans. I, I it seems like I'm causing problems. So I promise I won't impersonate your city anymore. I'll I'll move on to something else. I'll pretend to be true green or something. I don't know. I'm I'm very sorry for the inconvenience to both of you, though. Well, I appreciate that because the way you spoke to me was totally not acceptable. Yeah, but you have to understand that it's I'm just working off of a script here. I'm in the call center. A script that says maybe I clean better clean my house. Yeah, that's that's one of that the that tells me that I don't look at my mail and I just throw everything away. They okay. they, they this, do they do ask. Call us, Indian. I'm not going to take care of anyone else's time. If they, anybody gets on my property tomorrow, I will be calling the police. No, no, nobody's going to like. No, the the city. I'm telling uh, you what I'm doing, just so you truly ma'am, understand. Ma'am, I don't care if you, it's a prank call or stop, not. Stop yelling. This is my property. Stop yelling at me. Stop. I'm, you're being racist. I am Indian. Okay. No, I'm not. I am an Indian. I don't care if it was who it was that came and tells me they're doing a prank call, and they're going to come do this. So no, I'm not. It sounds like so, you think the AT&T should appropriate Indian culture. Goodbye. 
All right. Bye, sir. Have a nice day. I promise not to do this anymore. I I don't understand why you're doing it if you're a call center. No, I'm. It's the prank call call center. It's right. a it's a business in India. Well, I mean, it's American based, but but the but the business is designed to prank call people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's uh. I don't know. You should just look it up. I, I don't have time to say. I've. I'm, I got to meet my call quota. I really got to go. Well, please stop calling anybody in the city of. Oh no no I'm st- I'll just I won't I won't pretend to be you anymore. I don't want to I don't want to bother the public works department. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Okay. Bye. I'll, I'll bother the mayor's office. Bye.